summer that's led Al to get a lot of first team snaps and is he ahead of DJ and I know both will play a lot probably but is Al ahead of DJ at this point? Um, I'm just trying to get the most competitive situation that I can between Al and DJ. Um, all summer they were pretty consistent working out in training um, but as far as every single element of just going to class, being on time, doing your treatment, I was a little bit more advanced with that and he had a good amount of leadership in the weight room so I put him out there just to push DJ a little bit more but um, they both have been pretty consistent in, in battling back and forth and sometimes I'll change it up but as of now Al's been the guy. You Mike, the, the quarterbacks completed 71% of the scrimmage. I don't know if that's on the cornerbacks or what, but like, are you happy with the cornerback play from the scrimmage? Or? I was really happy because we did, besides defending the pass, we were very physical. Um, I saw some guys tackle that I'd never seen tackle before. The, the effort was there. And I think once we put the effort there and um, guys are understanding the scheme, I think that, that percentage will go down a little bit. So we really didn't look at those numbers. But um, then we got the ball, our hands on the ball, about six interceptions and a couple of fumble recoveries. So overall, um, they, they, they threw the ball and checked it down a good amount, but um, we did a good job of defending the deep ball and not allowing a lot of big plays. You mentioned uh, in the spring, I guess, to Corey Couch and Christian Williams, and you thought they could come in and play right away. Do you feel that way now, even a few weeks in uh, to camp? Oh, no doubt. We need all the help we can get it's in the back end and on special teams and all those things. Um, both of those guys have been pretty consistent. Takori has more of a workload. He's been working nickel and corner. Um, but he has uh, been really natural with his hips and his change direction and his tenacity running to the ball and even shows some signs of tackling. That's Takori. Uh, Christian has done the same, just being a bigger corner, more physical, uh, flat line speed. I'm just getting him to play a little bit lower, not be so high and continue to show his, uh, his physicality. And, and both corners need to be able to translate what they learn in the meet room to the field. And we do a lot of pressure this has been a tough week, and what we're doing is these kids got to get in that, they got to be in that meeting room, and in 30 minutes, I, I expect them to come out there and perfect it. And if they don't, there's discipline. So we've been really hard on them this week, and uh, I've seen those freshmen fight through all that. Mike, how, how important is it, especially with the opponent you have right off the jump, to have these guys, like you said, that they could do with 30 minutes being on the field, they know what they're doing. They got to make it a point. 100 percent we got to be prepared coming into week one. Um, and that's why, like I said, we put so much pressure on them and this week is to, to learn what they learn and 30 minutes perfect it. And what we want to see is how they react to that. And go through, we put, Coach Diaz have us putting trials and tribulations in front of them and seeing how they react to it because we don't want to learn about it on the 24th. So we're learning a lot about our players right now. I think physically wise, these kids are running, they're doing what we asked for. Um, they're learning the basis of things, but we continue to put them in tough situations as far as the learning curve so they can fail and then hopefully they can learn from it a lot faster before learning learn from it later. Mike, if you had a game tomorrow, who would be your fourth corner? Fourth corner? Uh, probably be Nigel Bethel. And he's looked good. So yeah, Nigel's again. been pretty consistent. Uh, he's a guy that red shirt. He's been in the program for years. Been a special teams guy, but with his speed and his, uh, he, he is a tough kid. I think he'll be able to get in there and, and complete a fourth corner type assignment to help us be successful on, on third downs. What is Along the next step? Also, is Trajan still like your vision is of him as a starting, uh, starting uh, nickel in those situations? Yes, Trajan is a starter. Um, Takori's been backing him up a little bit of Gil Gilbert Fryson in the nickel. But it's been trading to Corey and Gilbert. But trading is a starting corner uh, opposite Al Blaze as of now. And he is doing both roles, whether it's nickel or playing outside corner. But Trajan, just curious, just curious, what's next for him and his progress in his career with Trajan? Um, what do you want to see? I want to see Trajan dominate. I thought he was consistent last year. And um, I think more of his just confidence getting stronger and stronger. I think he's going to contribute on special teams even more. We create a standard where if you're not on special teams, you're not going to get an opportunity on defense. So I think he can make himself a complete corner. In order to be what he needs to be, he needs to be a nickel pump corner. He needs to be consistent every down corner and be able to return kicks and block kicks and do those things right there. So I'm just adding a special team element to him. I don't want him to be similar to former players that went into the league and struggled in the draft because they didn't do much on special teams. Just to be clear, Fires at nickel and at striker, correct? Yes. Okay. Florida's got a lot of size, I guess, with receiver position. How do you, as far as that matchup is concerned, with size, you feel pretty confident in what you got? No doubt. That's why I'm a coach for the corners, you know. Um, I've, I've been able to go against, we've been able to go against smaller, quicker receivers. We went against bigger, bigger receivers, and Florida has great size on their end. But we just, uh, we're technicians. Uh, we're going to do what we do. Uh, we don't change much, you know, and I think that's what makes us being one of the top passing defenses in the country is the fact that we can keep it simple and be technicians of what we do and just be up for the challenge. Mike, I know Bolden Last is question. part of Vance's group, but just as you guys talk among yourselves, what's so intriguing about what Bubba can bring to the team this year? Um, just his experience and just depth. 
you know, uh, like I keep talking about special teams, but we got to have uh, a good amount of d DBs on special teams. But just his presence today, the boys kind of felt it in a competitive situation. Then here's another guy I got to beat out. Uh, here's a little bit more depth for us, but we we're just happy to see Bubba be in South Florida and ready to get going. But uh, he's going to add all those elements and, and make us such way better in, in the back end.